Hi, I'm going to do this over again because uh, I screwed up the last time I was trying to get this thing across. Uh, I said that the Muslims believe the Quran is corrupted. No, the Muslims believe the Bible is corrupted. You know, so just this is going to be my take, my take too, on uh, what I feel is the Trinity within Islam. Uh, Anyway, the reason why I feel there's a trinity in Islam is because, well, if you study the Quran, you find out that Allah just didn't say be and get Mary pregnant with Jesus, you know, that, Maha, that, that, that Allah actually partnered, if you will, with its spirit, I mean, with his spirit, I, well, I like to, their spirit, and I, I call Allah their and uh, them and those because Allah likes to show respect to himself by calling himself we and our and us. It, Allah shows respect to, for himself by using the royal plural, you know. Even though shirk is unpardonable and um, unforgivable and the worst of sins, worse than murder, rape, genocide, and even eating pork, uh, Allah shows respect for himself I call him by making it sound like he's got a partner, you know, by calling himself our and, and we and us. So out of respect for Allah, I call Allah they, them, and those, you know, or it, being that supposedly nothing is like Allah, you know. So, but anyway, as I said, in my study of the Quran and also Hadith, I discovered that there seems to be a trinity. And the reason why I say that is because when Allah got married pregnant, with a son of whom Allah denies fathering, he breathed, or they breathed, uh, into Mary's Farja with Jibril, or not, well it doesn't say Jibril, it says their spirit, or his spirit, their spirit, yeah, uh, and got her pregnant that way. In other words, Allah partnered with Jibril, if that spirit of Allah, the Holy Spirit of Allah is, is Jibril, you know. Many Muslims believe it is Jibril, you know. But, that only makes Islam a duality. The reason why I think that there's a trinity in Islam is because in the Hadith, a goat ate away a part of the Quran. And according to the Quran, no one can alter all those words. You see? And Muslims believe that, uh, uh, the, that if something alters all those words, you know, that it becomes uh, corrupted, and uh, and they believe that the Bible has been corrupted because they think it's been altered. Well, the same thing seems to apply to the Quran because, according to the Hadith, a goat ate away a part of the Quran, and all of that. But a goat also killed Muhammad. It was a poison goat. You know, and in spite of all eating like seven natural dates in the morning, that's supposed to protect you all day from both magic and poison. And in spite of uh, all eating probably black cumin, which Muhammad said will will like uh, heal everything except death, Muhammad still died. And not only did he die, but he said that the goat, the poison goat, made him feel as though his his aorta, his main artery, had been severed. Making it sound like he's a false prophet, because Muhammad also said in the Hadith that if you're a false prophet, that if you were a false prophet, Allah would sever his main artery. See, and he was saying, "Oh, it feels like my main artery's been severed," you know. So, to me, that fulfills the belief to me about there being a trinity, trinity in Islam. It's Allah, Jibril, and the Holy Ghost. Bye.